Hi, I am Kentagian, and this is my first video of this type. I promised you guys it was coming. I'm sure some of you saw the title and already hit the unsubscribe button, in which case you're probably not watching. Others of you are just keeping that mouse poised over it in case I say something you don't like. Well, here we freaking go. This video, if you couldn't tell from the title, is about Islam. Yay, what a great first topic to start my controversial videos off of. Anyway, in our country, there's been this persistent rumor that started a long time ago that Barack Hussein Obama is a Muslim. It probably started long before he even became president, but once he became president, it was kicked into high gear. They even will point to moments where Obama states, quote, my Muslim faith, taking it out of context, of course. This is easily dispelled when you look at Obama's lifestyle. The dude eats pork, forbidden by Islam. He consumes alcohol also forbidden by Islam, and rather than pushing gay people off of rooftops, or at least ordering it, a la ISIS, he supported the Supreme Court's ruling on gay marriage, calling it, and I quote, a victory for America. However, let's take a moment and be like most Americans, ignoring these facts. Let's assume that Obama is in fact a Muslim, despite all of the previous. My question is as follows. Why does it matter? And this is where we get into the meat of it. Presidential candidate Ben Carson, shown here, has outright said, and I quote, I would not advocate that we put a Muslim in charge of this nation, stating that Islam is not consistent with the Constitution. So back to the question at hand, well, why does it matter? What if Islam is not consistent with the Constitution? If Obama were a Muslim, his worst crime would be lying about it. I don't know if he's done it under oath or not. Whether or not he has that, I don't care because I know he isn't one. However, if he were, his biggest crime is lying. There is no law against being a Muslim present in America, and there is no religious test for office. That said, if Obama were a Muslim, he'd be doing a very good job keeping his faith and his governmental policies separate. It seems like Mr. Carson and a lot of other Americans who have this uh, deep fear of Islam amongst many, many, many other things are putting all Muslims in a box. Yes, there are Muslims in this world who want to conquer America, create Sharia law everywhere, all that nonsense, but that isn't everyone. To assume that we can't have an is a Muslim president because of what the Quran says is saying that no Muslim can interpret the Quran in the same symbolic manner that most Christians interpret the vast majority of the Bible. I mean, if you look at the Bible in a literal context, it too is quite unconstitutional and not compatible. For instance, the first commandment, there shall be no other God before me. That commandment in and of itself destroys our freedom of religion. The fact that we allow freedom of religion in America despite being commanded not to by the Bible shows that the Bible is inconsistent with our constitutional values. So really, Islam, yes, it is incompatible with the Constitution, but so is Christianity and so is Judaism and so is Buddhism and other faiths. But when you keep your faith separate from your job, there isn't a problem. This is why I would support a Muslim president. If there was a president who said he was a Muslim, but governed with policies that I could stand behind, and his track record showed he voted for those policies, then I would vote for him or her. Anyway, that's all I've got to say about that. This is my, like I said, this is my first video doing anything like this, so it's a little bit rocky. Um, everything I've talked about will be linked down below. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you disagree. If you disagree, please provide actual evidence and not scripture quotes or any bullshit like that. And if you agree, either, either way, let's learn something together. Anyway, that's going to be it for this video. I will be putting up more gaming videos soon. And yeah, there will be more videos like this as well. Let me know what you think. Definitely leave a like or a dislike. I don't care. And comment and all that good stuff. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!